Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today, I decided to do something a little bit special. Many times I get asked by people, what is it like living in New Zealand? What is it like grocery shopping? So today, I'm going to take you into a grocery store with my friend Chantel from Growing Up Without Borders and show you what it's like in New Zealand buying food. So you're going to want to subscribe below, hit the bell. Here we go. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is a great all-in-one platform to get your business online quickly. Here we go. So first things first, shopping carts are two sizes here. You get a small yes. and a large, which is always useful. Okay, here we go. Okay, so when you first come in, they always put the sales stuff right in the front. Okay, the apples in New Zealand are so good. They are such a big variety, and they're so good. My favorite are the Braeburn apples. They have that in the U.S. too, but the produce is so good. One thing that's interesting here is a lot of times you will see these bags, compostable bags, or paper bags like this. It's kind of cool. Okay, so one thing that I've never had till I came to New Zealand is a passion fruit. Now, I believe these must be out of season as they're $34.99 a kg. <laughs> and they're from New Zealand, so they must be out of season, but I don't know how they're here. But they're so good. Okay, so let's just explain. You have to eat in season here. If not, yes. you will be paying like, what, double, triple the yeah, price. Yeah, so you kind of change what you make basically. So you eat in season and it's, it's healthy, it's good and it's fresh. I love these. These are persimmons. <laughs> persimmons. They're in season. It's a so persimmon. This is cheap. And they are like, you can eat it like an apple. Mm, like this. You just literally can just bite into it. And I've never had one first time this year. I love it. One thing you'll see in New Zealand is people in their onesies walking the through. grocery store <laughs> as she turns around. Out of season in the winter, and you can tell they don't don't look so hot, and they're expensive, and so it's hard. Not a lot of pastas that I'm making in the winter. Something that surprises me in New Zealand is you get a lot of these big salads. You still get fresh, but there's not huge, large amounts. Yes, of it. a ton of choices. No. Okay, so the meat in New Zealand is so good. Most everything is, you know, grass-fed um, and delicious, as you can see here. Um, and so, also buying meats, you just if you want to just decide on what's on sale that week is generally what I do. Um, or there's certain ones like they're mints. This is mints. This is a ground beef. This is called mints. It's always good. Um, yeah, not too expensive. They're yeah, their red meats are always real reasonable, and their pork. One thing they do here is they don't call mince meat, hamburger meat. So we're used to calling it hamburger meat. Do you call it hamburger meat? Yeah, we yeah. call it, yeah, we call it, yeah. yeah. Here, Ground don't... beef is what we call it. Here, they call it mince. mince. Okay, so let's talk about the chicken. So since I've, I moved here in 2013, the price of chicken breast has gone way down from when I first started. It used to be like I couldn't even buy it that much. It was so expensive to feed my whole family. But check out these like whole chickens and they are, this one's 22 because it's a whole organic. This one's 23 out, so it's pretty expensive. And the thing is, is that the chickens are so small for my family. This is like regular size. These aren't hormone induced, whatever, chickens. from the US. So I always have to get two to feed my family, so that can be a bit expensive. So a sausage sizzle is a big thing in New Zealand. A sausage sizzle? Yes. Yeah, so Ooh. Buy. I mean, the cheap ones are just like in these bags. Um, these are their frankfurters, which would be the most like the American hot dog. Not exactly the same, but yeah, these are the regular sausages. They're all pre-cooked, so it's real easy. Um, but then there's nicer sausages down here. If you go to your local butcher, butcher that's what I would suggest. Yeah, that's what I suggest. Um, so a lot of countries around the world, okay. we we're just talking about milk. The price of milk here is it's the farmers aren't subsidized. So in a lot of countries, the government subsidized oh, the farms. Got it. Okay. And so here, like a thing of milk like that is uh, five fifty basically. So that could be considered expensive. Like in most countries, it's like two. Yeah, that's true. It is expensive here, especially since I buy like a lot of five milk. of those. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is fresh cream, 
and so this is the closest thing you're gonna get to creamer for your coffee <laughs> or cool whip for any sort of dessert everybody whips their own cream now you can buy like the spray cream they have spray cream but most people don't but, well, but you know like all those cool whip recipes in the US now you're whipping your own cream people but it's so much better I don't know about you but I have been putting off creating my website until I found my solution with Squarespace. You guys are going to love this product. They have so many beautiful templates to choose from. You just pick your template and then you go in and just add the details of your business and literally within one day, I was able to get my website up and running. Another feature that I love on Squarespace is that they have this social sharing where my community can just go right out into my YouTube channel, my TikTok channel, which is where most of my uh, content exists. And so it's really nice that I can connect directly from Squarespace. Other features that Squarespace offers that are really great is their, the fact that you can collect donations, you can do email campaigns from it. It's just overall really great. I personally also love the analytics. I always like to know what's going on behind the scenes, who's really um, reaching me on my webpage. And that's just such a nice feature as well. I highly recommend that you check out Squarespace. Take some time today to go to squarespace.com and check out your free trial. And then when you're ready to purchase your website or your domain, you get 10% off with the link below. Check it out. This yeah. is it guys. This is it for the cereal. It's not six aisles of sugar cereals like the US. This is your only choice. <laughs> All right, so there's lots of spreads or jams in New Zealand and always lots of honey, Manuka honey. And then there's Marmite, Marmite and a Vegemite. This is what's put on toast in the morning here. I think Vegemite is more Australian, but peanut butter, fix and fog, guys, you can't beat it. Let me show you, do they have my favorite? Yes, the dark chocolate peanut butter, guys, just need a spoon, that's it, nothing else. <laughs> so good, the peanut butter is so good. All the, so, it's such good with the peanut butter. And this is coming from an American. So let's talk about the deli here. So we have the seafood, there's lots of good seafood, but then we have some cuts of meat, but not as much variety as you probably have. There's the luncheon, which would be the same as the bologna in the U.S. And then like we've got samosas, we got some Indian, and yeah, we have some pre-made sandwiches, um, some pies. Oh, look at this, they have macarons. Ooh, you think you're in France. Yeah, $3.50 each. There it is, ladies and gents. $3.50 <laughs> for a macaron. Okay, so New Zealand is famous for its meat pies and its sausage rolls. So there's always some in the deli. You can just get it individually. So good. I highly recommend from a fresh bakery. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but this pavlova is a kiwi thing, yes, right? It is. It's yeah. A kiwi thing. So you don't find this. this don't is buy cool. that. Make it yourself. Oh. I don't know. I guess have? I've never. I don't buy baked goods. Make it yourself. Make it yourself. Have you ever seen anything like it? That's wow, so there's like cool. a whole onion in that one. <laughs> so if you don't know, there's consistent. It's like the most ice cream in the world. So check out how big this section is. It keeps going all the way down. selection in New Zealand guys yes. this is it it's different um, you have this <laughs> I always think it's funny tasty cheese it's their cheddar it's that good. Um, but they sell it in these blocks so this is a, a cheaper if you need it cheese is cheap here you get this whole block of cheese for ten dollars yeah. that's that's a good price if you one thing you won't find is orange cheese you, you just find don't orange find orange cheese, cheese. Yeah. Like, and, like mozzarella cheese and I really miss Monterey Jack I oh. don't have that. You know what I miss is the real mozzarella, like real the, mozzarella. The like, yeah, mozzarella. Mo like some they, of them have it, but they're outrageously they don't expensive. Have it. I've never seen yeah, it. And they yet. do, here. <gasps> no. Yeah, this is it. Oh yeah, my gosh. How did I not see that? We've made Chloe's going to be so excited. Oh, yeah, girl. We've got Seriously. it here. Seriously. We've got it here. You can get beer and wine at the grocery store, but not other alcohol. Okay, for those of you watching, you want to know something interesting? In Canada, you have to go to the beer store and then to the liquor store. Two different buildings. 
Okay, they stores. don't sell beer at the liquor store? Nope. Oh. Didn't yeah. know that. Yep. Yes. Okay, tell so us. this is tomato sauce, not ketchup. This is the famous thing that's used here in New Zealand, but at least they have Heinz. They put it on their french fries though, and it doesn't taste like ketchup. No, it's not. It's not salty. It's more sweet. Yeah. It, more tomato-y. Yeah. I don't know how else to say it. Sweet and tomato-y. There it is. Totally different. Totally different. This has not, this is way more variety than five years ago. <laughs> They've really stepped it up. Yeah, it's, they've, it's grown quite a bit. It's like the 80s. <laughs> no. Okay, it says Kraft mac and cheese, but it doesn't look right. So like, no, and it looks way too big. Ooh, it's like, like it looks massive. Hold on, hold on. Let's see if it's made in the U.S. This is no. hilarious. Because that, it always says made in Australia. Australia. Yeah, Australia. See, they don't know. That's why it looks weird. This is inspired by Stranger Things. They're trying to give it the 80s look. Kind of like mullets. They have mullets in style here. Thank you for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below with any other places you'd like me to show you around New Zealand. I am happy to do that. And thanks again to our sponsor, Squarespace, today. Make sure you click on the link below so that you can get your 10% off your website. Have a great week.